today I want to share with you something uh, interesting and something different, you know, about what if, what if we make the house installment from the general uh, or standard like 30 years or 20 years or 35 years, what if we prolong it to 100 years, 200 years or even 500 years or even if there's a, if there is even any maximum of repayment, repayment, repayment period. Okay, so I just uh, want to look uh, at the, okay, just put it 4% to be fair, you know, could be like 5%. Okay, if you look at the general 500,000 of uh, property, right, and with 50,000 down payment, which is like a uh, 450,000 loan. So over the 35 years, you're actually paying like 386,000 interest. You know, if you add up with your capital, it's, it will be like um, 836,000, something like that. Okay, so I mean, it's reasonable for someone who wish to you know, take a lengthy 35 years over 450,000 loan for 4% interest, okay? Uh, okay, but today we'll look at two scenarios about the interest rate, okay? One is about prolong the installment period, another is the interest rate. Okay, if you look at the 5%, okay, and you calculate, right, so you're actually paying like 903,000 compared to 830 over 1,000, right? You're paying extra 70,000. But what if I increase it to a trend 10% and you can see that your installment uh, amount have increased dramatically and your interest have rise to now 1 point, uh, sorry, 1.17 million for the interest and you add up a total, you will pay like uh, 1.6 million, something like that over the 35 years. And what? Even if they increase to 20%, like I'm not sure some of the country due to war or, or very uh, bad sit economy situation, economic uh, situation, they are paying $7,500 installment over 35 years and they are paying $2.7 million or total like $3.2 million, you know, of interest plus capital. So that's a very dramatic, if you look at the the principal, which you only reduce your very, very low uh, capital and pay nearly, you pay like 1 million of interest just in the 12 years and you barely re reduce only 4,000 of your capital. Okay, so that's a very shocking thing about interest rate. Okay, let's go back to the 4% and now, okay, let's put it 5%. Uh. Okay, now we will increase from 35 years to uh, probably 100 years, okay? So normally the bank will allow you to borrow up to a maximum of 35 years or 70 years of age whichever earlier. Okay, let's say you are age 50. So of course you can only borrow uh, 20 years up to 70 age. And if you are only 20 years old, of course you cannot loan up to 70, which is uh, 50 years. You can only loan from 20 to uh, 55, which 35 years. But what is, what if, a bank allow you to borrow more than 35 years, say 100 years, meaning that you have to pay over a few generations, you know, so the installment will pass to the next generation. So when you die, of course, they will say uh, you have to give the next king, so the next king will take, take over the house. Of course, the house value will increase its values, but they will have to keep on paying the installment. Okay, so if you look at 100 years, right, now you calculate, it reduce, uh, Barely the, the installment, if you look at 35 years, right, you only pay 2,271. And now when you increase to 100, right, from 2,271, you see you barely reduce like, uh, I think like 400 ringgit, or $400. But what happened is, over the 100 years, you actually paying 1.8 million of interest. Instead of like earlier, I think 500,000. So it's, it's extra 1.3 million of interest. And this is because in the first generation, see up to the 35 years, right? Up to the 35 years, okay, this is the first generation. He already paid 778,000 of interest and it only reduced 14,000 from your 400, 450,000 loan. Meaning your 450,000 loan is still left with 435,000 loan that passed to the second generation. And your near 800,000 of interest already paid to the bank. 
So of course, the second generation say given 35 to uh, 70 years. Okay, so it will probably reduce hundred uh, reduce like hundred fifty thousand from the first generation, and already paid up a total of one point near to one point five million from the first generation. Now, of course, the last thirty years itself is only it only pay like just barely three hundred thousand of interest, and then it it reduce the entire three hundred fifty thousand of uh, capital. Okay, so what if we increase it to two hundred years, or even if there's a, a maximum, I don't know. And you can see, you can see from 100 years, right? From 1887, and now 1887, it reduced to 1875, which is like 13 ringgit reduction of installment amount. And if you look at the chart, it's very crazy, you know? It's like the entire capital is not reducing at all at the first 120 years. Only the last 80 years, it will start exponentially reduce. You know, and the interest you see, they charge you like exponentially high at the first 20 years. And then it's it getting like nothing in the, the last uh, 180 years. This show how the bank are really in your interest. You know, the mechanism that they calculate. Meaning that you see the first 10 years, you only barely reduce $13. Which is still owe the bank four hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred eighty six and fifty cent, and yet you already pay off two hundred one thousand of interest in the first ten years. And if you even look at the the the, the hundred years, right, it only barely reduced three thousand of your capital. With balance four hundred forty six from four hundred fifty thousand of capital loan that you borrow from bank, and you already pay off two point two million of the interest. And if you look at the end, you pay four million of interest for four hundred fifty thousand loan, and this sure crazy. And what I think the maximum uh, this website or this uh, software allow is I think seven hundred years. And if you look at seven hundred years and and two hundred years, right? I, I I really suspect there's no different. One eight seven five of installment, one eight seven five and nine cent, one eight seven five ah. Uh, 1875 and now seven year 1875 it reduced by nine cents of your installment by increase 500 years of installment i don't know what is happening you know why does this happen by reducing nine percent because it doesn't reduce your capital at all meaning you see zero 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 what the 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 bank system calculate is it, it's not to say barely reduce, it's totally never reduce your interest, your capital amount at all. And this is outrageous, it's shocking and totally crazy. So in the 700 years, I don't know what happened. Your capital is not, it's not reduced at all. And at the end of my four, because you didn't reduce your, your, your interest, right? You already paid 15 for 7 million and still owe the bank. So perhaps it's forever. You have to pay your installment thousand eight forever, and you still owe the bank for a few thousand. You know, meaning for five hundred thousand house, right? If you keep on passing the 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 house loan for the like say twenty or twenty three generation, you like virtually gain free money to the bank. You know, and the bank you still owe the bank like like initial amount like nothing. You still it doesn't reduce at all your your the debt. You already pay off fifteen or seven million. I'm not sure this seems like the loan shark or the illegal money lender, something like that. You know, like you keep on paying the interest, like fifty million for four hundred fifty thousand loan over seven hundred years, and yet you still owe the bank. The house still belongs to the bank. By end of seven hundred years, you still haven't paid off the debt. The bank still own the house. Perhaps your house will worth. Like five hundred thousand were worth like five million over the several years, or maybe ten million, and the bank still own the ten million. Perhaps unless you sell the ten million, then you offset the four hundred fifty thousand, then you still get your time nine million. But you already pay off 50, 15 million of uh, interest over the several hundred years, so it doesn't make sense. You no, know? so that's why the mechanism, like 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 earlier I mentioned, like like even if you put it like. 
uh, 50 years, say you are aged 20 to 70, you know, it makes sense to pay in one generation. You see how much the bank rate in your interest, 700,000, you know, over the, the 50 years by 2,000 payment, meaning that, that when you keep paying, like, especially the first 20 years, you only reduce like barely 70,000 and you pay off 400,000. So that's the, the thing about bank uh, that let's say let's say you 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 plan to uh you plan to dump in some cash to reduce the capital after say twenty years because you loan fifty years right meaning like you age twenty to forty when you at age forty you have the cash right you already pay off the bank four hundred forty twenty thousand interest and you reduce only seventy thousand and now you plan to dump in like hundred thousand so. Even if you dump in also, you already the bank already uh, makes four hundred thousand over the twenty years from you. So, so if you calculate uh, this four hundred twenty thousand over whatever you loan, like, it's almost like eighty percent the bank is making from you. But that's over uh, the the twenty years. So, so, so the the best point about this uh, uh, this video is to tell you that. The longer that you take your housing loan, the more interest you are going to pay, you know. And the capital will reduce uh, uh, much lower, you know, until the ending uh, of the installment period. Okay, thank you guys for watching.